Hey everyone, welcome to part three of a little series I've done on drawing viewers' cars. If you haven't seen the first two videos, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check those out later. Uh, this video is fairly straightforward because I've, I've already covered the techniques I'm going to use in the previous two. So I'm really just talking about the little details I did on the grill, uh, the badge, and the license plate. And as always, I've left timestamps in the description below so you can just jump to the bits that are important to you. So all that's left to say is uh, another big thanks to Alan for sending me in the picture of his car for me to uh, play around with. I uh, hope you're happy with what I've done. And if you want to see your car in one of my videos, just leave a comment in one of the videos and uh, we can talk about what we're going to do. But for now, here's Alan's Pontiac G8, the final part of the series. Now, if you've seen the other two videos, you'll already be quite familiar with how I've constructed the car and all the details, and the grill is no different. So I'm not going to redraw the whole thing because I think uh, you've got the, the idea by now, but there are a few key differences on the grill that I do need to explain. So the first thing is the hexagonal pattern on the grill. If I just hop over to the photograph again, uh, I, have, I did actually lighten this when I did the original drawing, but you can see it's quite dark and it's not lit uniformly. So uh, because it's curved, you've got lights on the, the front edge here and then on the interior edge down here, which can affect the line that you choose to draw with. So just be aware of that. Um, you could, if you wanted to, if you just pick up some like the shape tool and go to polygon and let's give it six sides. You could repeat a pattern depending on how um, accurate you want to be, but it may, because it's not a, a head on image, it's like from an angle, you may have to play around with the perspective and that, that could take a bit of time. So you've got to weigh up the pros and cons. Do you draw the whole thing uh, from scratch or do you try and create a pattern from something like this? So if I just turn off that fill color, uh, let's just make that, oh, let's just make that gray. And then reset the pressures. Oh, there's my six sides gone. There we go. So yeah, you could you could um, repeat this pattern and create a grid, and then just assemble it as you see fit. Um, I did actually try this on this one, but it didn't really. It looked very um, mathematical and it looked a bit too perfect. So um, I, I scrapped that and just did it all by hand. But um, yeah, you're going to have to make those decisions and see what works best for you in the moment. So to recreate the highlights on the grill, just to give the uh, shape a bit of depth like they are on the, the photograph there, it's just a case of going over the lines you've already created with the pencil. Uh, just pick your light source. So I've just picked that bottom left corner. I'm going to pick up the pen tool and just try and recreate one of these over here. So just going to pick up some edges. Just give it a colour. And bring it to the top of our illustration so we can see it. And then to create the chamfered edge, the tapered edges, just tap on the uh, little tool just below the color palette. And then we're going to go into pressure. I'm going to drop these handles down. And then we're, we're going to select our objects first. And then we're going to drop the handles down. And about there. And then we're going to bring the middle one up. And then what I did was create the the centre ones a little thicker than the outer ones. So you want to kind of I started in the in the middle and just made them progressively thinner as I went out, and then you end up with a, a nice top lit effect. 
and then we have the grill emblem now I did have to refer back to some reference because the photo there wasn't quite enough detail in that image for me to work with so I uh, got some Pontiac emblems up and kind of made a, a simplified version of it but I'll, I'll go into the layers and just show you what happened with these and it was all fairly simple stuff um, it was a outline heavy outline of the uh, the triangle uh, and a gray fill with a red fill on top and then I used this sort of burgundy fill so you got the red sits underneath with the burgundy on just to give it two tones and two sort of light sources and then it was just a case of dropping over a bit of like a, a light source over the top just give it a bit of a reflection and then it was uh let's have a look two lines for the cross very similar to how we did the um the grill highlights and then i just finished off with a sort of semi transparent line just sort of catching the uh the top edge there and that was it it's quite quite quick and easy to make so that brings us to the end of this little series where I've been drawing Alan's Pontiac G8. So a final thanks to him for sending in a picture of his car and allowing me to work on it. If you'd like to see your car in one of my videos, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And uh, same as if you've got any questions about any of the videos or any of the techniques, just leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll get back in touch with you. If you stayed with me this far, then thanks very much for watching and please do consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my many other videos on Inkscape, Affinity Designer and making vinyl art and stickers. My name's Dan, this is Petrol Vectors and I'll see you in the next one.